So today, we're going to be using three more heroes that got updated in this balance update. Those three heroes are the Pirate, Skeleton, and the Kong. The Pirate and the Skeleton received the buff, the Kong received the nerf. We're going to be using the Dancing Dragon to try to enhance the Kong's ability, but let's see if, if these changes will make a difference. My name is Tim Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Alrighty, for those who don't know, the skeleton received a buff in its bones, the, the con received a nerf in its um, ability. Let's, uh, what can we do here? Let's just, I mean, we'll just hit the trap. Let's see if we can get a little buff on to deal damage, onto the mummy, not bad. The problem is we're facing the mummy, so the pirate and the skeleton is going to be pretty much useless pretty soon. And the, of course, the uh, Kong as well. And the pirate received a buff in its... Um, what is it again? I th it's its ability, I think, the damage as well. Yeah, I think he also received dam uh, ability damage as well, which is pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, can we actually hit the trap here? If we can hit the trap, that would be pretty sweet. Yes, we do hit the trap. The, the cleric will receive a whole bunch of damage right there. Of course, everyone else did as well. We're doing really well here, considering the fact of the deck that we're facing. Uh, he also enchanted the Kong, so we got three heroes cannot, that cannot even use their ability, which sucks. We got the Kong going next, that cannot use his ability, sadly. Let's see if we can hit the mummy right here, then we'll hopefully make the skeleton hit the cleric. That would be nice. There we go. Oh, wow. Let's go. Let's go. We took out the mummy and the cleric right there. Let's freaking go, guys. We're doing incredibly well. Sadly, you know, we got three heroes enchanted that cannot even heal up. The pirate is the only one that can heal up, which is my saving grace right now. So let's see if we can actually make it work with using the pirate only. Like I said, the pirate received, uh, you know, to heal up more. And I think he also received a damage buff as well. The pirate is an incredibly strong hero when it comes to damage now. Uh, we're actually able to almost take out the gargoyle right there. Plus, we got the trap ready to go. He... Hits the trap once again. Of course he does that. Uh, gargoyle has 106 health. I don't think we're going to be able to take out the gargoyle. Unless we push it towards a pirate or something. Like if we do this right here. Can we hit it towards the pirate? Yes we do. We actually took out the gargoyle right there. Let's freaking go. Alright so it's a 3v1. Now don't. Now the Archon is, is a pretty strong last man hero. He'll probably. Yeah he's going to use the trap. He might actually hit the pirate here. Yep. Of course. All right, so there's that. That's a problem. Uh, we're actually going to do this. You know, hit the Archon directly to the Pirate. The Pirate should hit the Trap, so that way we can get the Trap ready to go. Did 123 damage to the Archon. Still trying to keep the Pirate alive, but I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to win this one anymore. It's just the Archon is that good. E even with all the nerfs that he received, he is that good. You know? He's going to double hit the Pirate. Still in the game. Still in the game. All right, we're actually able to heal up. Can we? I mean, I would like to hit the the trap and then the archon. Let's see. Yes, we were. Okay, we were actually able to do so. And the trap actually hits the archon. That's good. All right, we're barely hanging on here. We're just barely hanging on. The Kong will die in one hit. Uh, the pirate will need two hits to get taken out. He failed to do either or. What was that? How much health does the archon have? 116. If I don't think we're going to be able to push it towards the pirate because the Kong will block, I think. Oh no, he didn't block. Holy guacamole, let's freaking go. Pirate survived with 35 health. The Kong survived with 79 against the mummy cleric combo. Let's freaking go, guys. I did not expect to win that at all. Super stoked about that. Let's continue on. Alrighty, very surprised about the first match. We're actually able to win there. No mummy, no cleric to face. He has. Rocketeer, Cannonmaster, very interesting combination to say the least. I don't know if he's going to try to push the, the Assassin towards the Skeleton. He is. And he does get a hit off. Not bad. Um, Let's do... I guess we'll try to hit the, you know, the Assassin right there. Also hitting the Cannonmaster, not bad. He'll definitely heal, uh, heal up the Assassin. Buff up the Rocketeer, okay. Okay, uh... Not too, not a big fan of that, but regardless, we're, we're still okay here. Let's seal up everyone here. Let's see if we can push the, uh, the Paladin towards the Pirate here. 
Yes, we were. 100 damage the pirate is doing because he got buffed right there. That was sweet. That was very sweet. He is again buffing up the Rocketeer. Alright. Let's do... I guess we'll, you know, buff up the... Heal up everyone once again. Hit the Rocketeer towards the pirate. Oh, that's good. That is very, very, very good. Uh, Rocketeer has three rockets. I don't want him to stay alive, but he might actually stay alive. Now he has four rockets. Definitely not good. Oh, we can actually do this just to take out the rocket here. Just heal up the Kong. Bada bing, bada boom. Heal up the Rocketeer. Let's freaking go. And for those who don't know, the Kong received a nerf on his ability. Instead of doing um, 90 damage per heal every time he is healed, um, he is doing 85, which is still strong, obviously. He's going for the pirate. He might actually take out the pirate here. Oh, yeah. The pirate is definitely dead. And I think the dancing dragon as well. Wow. So we cannot even use the Kong's ability anymore. Well played, my dude. Well freaking played. Let's push the paladin towards the skeleton. There's Ah, I was trying to double hit. A double hit would have taken out the paladin, of course. So that way the assassin cannot even use this ability because the cannon master cannot push the assassin around. He will heal up the assassin one more time. Well played, dude. Alright, so let's do this. Push the... It's in good game. I can still win. Let's do that. Oh, way I missed the the freaking... You know, cannon master or the, the paladin hitting the Kong. Very surprised about that. He will be hitting the Kong, of course. Uh, let's see. The assassin has 117 health. Hmm. This is rough, dude, because of all the cats as well. Let's see if we can double hit the assassin here. Yep, there you go. Plus, we are actually able to hit the cannabiser, so the cannabiser will take a little bit of damage as well. He might heal up the cannabiser, deal a little bit of damage to the, the skeleton. Yeah, it's going for that. He, yep, a little bit of damage to the skeleton, which I'm okay with. Let's now double hit the cannabiser here. There you go. All right. And the skeleton is hugging the wall, so he's not going to be able to get double hit with the cat. I'm actually, we might actually pull off the, uh, the win here. Let's go. Uh, please don't get double hit there. Please don't. Okay, thankfully he, thankfully he doesn't get the double hit right there. Can we get the double hit here for the win, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, right here. Let's see. Right there should have the trick. There you go. Oh, wow, we needed a triple hit instead. And we got it, ladies and gentlemen. Holy guacamole. He is saying, wow, good game. Let me give it the good game back. I actually did not expect that to win. Or I actually didn't expect to win that one. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. What an insane play right there to get the victory. Two wins, zero losses. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Incredible two, uh, two wins right there. Wraith Rocketeer combo. So he's going to buff up the Rocketeer with the Wraith, most likely. He's going to use the Mice Bandit for damage. He's not going to use it for, to, for the buff. He hits, the, or he double hits the Pirate. Well played. Um, Let's do... What can we do? I mean, we could heal up the Pirate a little bit while pushing the Dancing Dragon to deal a little bit of damage right there. Not the greatest, but, I mean, we're going to have to accept it. Wraith, Wraith is now a slow hero, thankfully. But he can still, you know, multi-hit the uh, Rocketeer five times. Look at that. Oh, four times. Regardless, that's still a lot of damage. Let's push the Kong towards them. Alright, so we separated the heroes, thankfully. So, sadly, he will deal lots of damage to one hero. But, thankfully, only one hero. He's going to push the Mice Bandit towards the Pirate. Well played. Well played. Uh, let's do this. Let's see if we can double hit the Kong here. Just so that we can get the double heal on the Rocketeer. There you go. Ooh, let's go. Decent damage all around. All right, Riz Wizard goes next. He is going to get a lot of splash damage here. Oh, thankfully he didn't. Surprisingly, he didn't, ladies and gentlemen. We'll hit the Mice Bandit towards the Dancing Dragon. Dancing Dragon should hit the Wizard. Wizard should hit the Skeleton. Let's go. Got a little bit of heal as well. Not bad. How is the Mice Bandit still alive? That is my question. How is the Mice Bandit still alive? All right, so it's, the Kong will get taken out. He does buff up the Rocketeer a little bit. Um, Alright, so I guess we're going to have to heal up my heroes here. Push the Dancing Dragon towards some Mice Bandit. Hopefully that'll hit. 
There you go. Oh, wow. Okay, not bad. Big did damage to multiple heroes right there. He might go after the, dan the Dancing Dragon, but that's okay. Oh, he's going for the Skeleton and the Pirate. Pirate does get taken out. Well played. Well played. Alright, let's see. Mm. This is a this is actually not too good. We'll hit the we'll hit the snowball to hit the mice pen. We should be able to heal up the skeleton a little bit. There you go. Oh wow, let's go. Actually able to heal up the skeleton twice for 74 uh health. Taking out the mice bandit, dealing damage to the to the wiz or not the wizard, the wraith and the rocketeer. Not too bad. Alright, so let's push the dancing dragon towards the rocketeer, I guess. There you go. Okay, so that's going to hurt the skeleton since I the skeleton is in a line of sight right there. But we should be able to reheal up the skeleton. Yeah, that hurts, but thankfully it's now only getting three hits instead of four, which is... I'm very grateful for that. Oh, we can actually not get a good hit off right there. Let's actually just go for damage here. There you go. We just went for damage. Alright. Let's see what he does here. Hopefully the skeleton does not get taken out, but he might because of the snowball. Yeah, of course he does. Uh, but look at this! The skeleton actually goes next! I, I don't use the skeleton often. Holy guacamole! So the skeleton gets revived. Let's seal up the skeleton. Take out that rocketeer. And let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We should be able to win this match easily as well. We're doing incredibly well with this, you know, this, you know, these heroes that got a uh, balance update right there. We're doing very well. Uh, Wraith is going to go up slowly. How much health does he have? 102. I mean, okay, we'll just, uh, we'll do this. This should heal up the skeleton as well. Oh, we failed to heal up the skeleton. But as long as we can uh, keep the hero separated, we're fine. He's going for the double hit right there. And the skeleton just needs one hit to win. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. How are we winning? We're doing incredibly well. Let's go. We're winning with the pirate skeleton, Kong, and the dancing dragon. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we are not facing the mommy cleric combo, but we did face them once and won. Let's go. Three wins, zero losses. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Let's see if we can continue on winning here, facing, of course, these one of the strongest decks. Even though he received a nerf, it is still pretty strong. His freaking mummy goes first, so he's going to enchant my heroes. And all he needs to do is en en enchant three of my heroes. And he's going to, you know, have a huge advantage on me. Let's see what he does. He's going for the Kong, so the Kong won't be able to use his ability. Which sucks, but, I mean, what can you do? The mummy doesn't even reach the hero anymore. That's a good, um, that's a good nerf, thankfully. Let's see if we can buff up the pirate here and then hit the... Well, we do not hit any heroes with the pirate, but the Kong did hit multiple heroes right there. Definitely was pretty good right there. Um, Alright, so the pirate goes next, the cleric goes next. So I'm not going to be able to do well here. Let's just hit the cleric here. We got a little bit of a damage and heal buff right there, but sadly nothing else happens. Cleric does go next. Thankfully, he is now light, so whenever he pushes hero towards walls, it's not going to be as much bounce, but it could still happen. Yeah, look at that. Thankfully, it's not as strong as it used to be before. Thankfully. Um, I don't even know what to do here. Let's actually just try to push the mummy towards the pirate and the dancing dragon there, I guess. There you go. Alright, did a little bit of damage to all heroes right there, so not bad. Let's see what the Cannon Master is going to do. He's going for the Dancing Dragon and the Kong, so he, both of them died. We'll play it, we'll play it, we'll play it. I mean, the problem is the Mummy will enchant here. I will not be able to take him out unless... How much health does he have? If we can get a double hit and then push it towards the Skeleton, then maybe we'll be able to. No way I did that. No freaking way I did that. So both of my heroes can heal up, which is good. We just need to try to take out the Clerk, because even though the Clerk received a major nerf, he's still pretty strong, in my opinion. Alright, so let's see. He's going to push the Pirate towards the Clerk. Okay, how did you manage to do that, my dude? How much health does the Clerk have? 
Let's take him out. Let's. We gotta go for the double hit at least. So let's see if we can get a double hit right there. Yes, we do. All right. So we took out the cleric. Now let's see if we can. Uh, I guess focus on the cannon master since the archon is taking a little bit of damage every single turn right there. He is going for the. He should go after the pirate. The pirate is dead. Okay. So this is going to be a very close match. Because now the skeleton cannot use his ability more, so we have to f try to take out the Archon as quick as possible. But, um, I mean, we'll see. Archon has 258 health, we have 234. This is not great, especially with him having multiple cats on the board. I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, survive this. We can definitely try, though. Let's see if we can get the double hit right here. Keep the skeleton down. So that way the Archon doesn't push the Skeleton upwards to push it towards the Cat. Okay. Okay, we got the triple hit right there. He needs three hits to take him out. Can he actually get it? The Goop! The Goop! No way, dude. He got the Goop. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you freaking kidding me? I should have won that. I should have won that, dude. I'm so upset. That was such a close match. Man... You guys can't complain though, we're doing very well there, and that was an insane match against the Mummy Clerk. I'm so upset that we lost there, but it was a close match overall. Three wins, one loss, let's continue. Alright, come on now. I mean, we're doing well, it's just, that was an unfortunate last match right there. Alright, we got the Pirate going first. Of course, his freaking Mummy goes first. Uh, we cannot do much against the Mummy. Sadly. We can try to get the attack buff here and then hit the mummy, I guess. Oh no, we actually hit the cleric instead. Honestly, that's fine. The problem is now the mummy going next. Let's see who's going to enchant. He's going for the pirate. Alright, so the pirate won't be able to heal up. And he took a lot of damage. Definitely not fun at all. Let's push the diamond sin dragon towards the skeleton. Skeleton should hit the cleric, please. We missed. Are you kidding me? We How did we miss, dude? I was just trying to get the attack buff. Well, that's unfortunate. We're definitely not winning this one either. For sure. Dancing Dragon and the Pi will be taking a whole bunch of damage right there. Will the Skeleton take damage too? No. Thankfully, he doesn't. Um, yeah, this is going to hurt now. We'll do this. Hopefully, this will hit the Pirate as well. Yes, we do. Alright. Johnson does go next. It's going to push the Kong towards the fire, which... This will give me a little bit of... Never mind, the Kong got enchanted. Never mind. Never mind. We'll buff up the pirate, so that way we can deal damage to the clerk right there. Take him out before the clerk even goes. But, um... I don't think we're gonna win this one. Especially if he enchants the skeleton. He's going for the pirate. Okay, so the pirate will get taken out here. And the skeleton gets enchanted, so nobody can, I, nobody can even heal up. Uh, this is not good, ladies and gentlemen. This is not good at all. We'll do this. Hit both of these guys. Decent damage all around right there. The Kong will get taken on no matter what. So he's definitely going to go after the Dancing Dragon here. Yeah, there's not much I can do here, sadly. Alright, so... Not good, obviously. Definitely not good. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able... We can try to push the Jocelyn towards the fire and then hit the Cannonmancer. So let's see if this angle should do the trick. There you go. There you go, not bad. And of course, we did not go through the cat. So he's definitely going to hit the Skeleton towards the cat. That's going to be... Oh, he actually doesn't, surprisingly. Uh, we'll multi-hit the Cannonmancer here. Let's do that, bada boom, hitting the Jossum as well. We're gonna hit the Mummy too, not bad, not bad. We did damage to all four, uh, three heroes right there. Alright, let's see what he does. This is going to hurt though, because he is going to get the double hit. Oh, never mind, he's going to hit me three times, of course, of freaking course. I mean, Skeleton only has 34 health, there's just no way we're going to win. I mean, we can try to push the Canister towards the fire. How did this not take out this, the Canister? Regardless, if this, the Canamancer would have died, the Jocelyn would have went next and he would have taken me out regardless. So, sadly, that's another loss. Come on. We, like, come on. We, we won three in a row. Can we get one or two more wins, please? We were doing so well. Can we get one or two more wins? 
pretty please. Come on, let's continue on. All right, which heroes are we going to face? Probably the same ones. Oh, wow, Gargoyle and Thunderpaws. No Cleric involved. Let's hit the Puppet Master twice, and then we should be able to push the Thunderpaws towards the Pirate, hopefully. Yes, we were. Not bad. All right, so we would like to take out his Puppet Master first, so that way he doesn't you know, place puppets on the board whenever he... Um, whenever his heroes dies. So, can we got a double hit here once again. Just to almost take him out. Let's do that. Bada boom. Not bad. Come on, let's try to take out that Puppet Master. Um, he might actually hit the Kong here. And then we can actually use... Yeah, he'll hit, definitely hit the Kong. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought he was going to hit the Kong. We'll just go for the Puppet Master here and push it towards the Pirate. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit the Thunder Ponce as well. Nope. And the Dancing Dragon is weak. I think the Skeleton is also weak. No, the Skeleton can survive the one-hit blast. But not the Dancing Dragon. Sadly. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Um, at least we don't need to worry about his Puppet Master's ability. Let's see if we can hit the Thunder Paws and the Warrior here. Bada boom. We don't hit the Warrior, but is the Thunder Paws dead? No, the Thunder Paws is still alive. Wow, 29 health. Are you kidding me? Alright, that's fine. Pirate goes next. Let's just hit the Warrior here and the Thunder Paws. Hit the Warrior towards his steam. Let's go. Decent damage to the Warrior as well. Alright, sadly, you know, we cannot use the... The Kong's ability. He should keep him alive since I won't be able to use his ability. Alright. Um, What can I do? I mean, I guess we'll try to hit the warrior here. Oh, I failed to get the double hit. That was a big mistake. Big mistake. Um, Alright, so he's going to hit the Kong. He might actually hit the skeleton. Yep, he hits the skeleton. So I'm going to get more health. So, I appreciate that, Warrior. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can we get the double hit here on the Warrior? And if we can hit the Gargoyle too, that would be super nice. So, right here should do the trick. Oh, please. Oh, that was so good. So good, dude. Multi-hitting the Gargoyle like that. It's a 2v1. We've got both healers here. So, hopefully we can compete with his healer. He doesn't heal up for this turn. I'm super stoked about that. All right, let's push it towards the skeleton. Nice double hit right there. That was easily over 200 damage right there. He surrenders. I thought, I mean, he could have still healed, tried to survive, but thankfully he wasn't, he didn't attempt it. So we're going to get the victory right there. So four wins, two losses. Pretty happy about this. Let's continue. All righty, so four wins, two losses. We're doing pretty good, not going to lie. I actually didn't expect to go pretty far with this, but we actually are. If he hits the... Well, we got the Dancing Dragon. Let's see if he pushes the Dancing Dragon downwards. And that way, you know, we can use any of the hero's ability to go a little bit crazy. Actually, that was not even... That sucked, actually. That sucked. We'll do this. Just hit both of these guys. We want to try to keep the Sentinel alive as a last man hero, if possible. But if we can't, that's fine, too. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's going for the Dancing Dragon. That hurts, obviously, but what can you do? Now we just hit the Sentinel here. Hopefully we'll hit the Yeti. Yes, nice damage on the Yeti. Nice damage on the Yeti, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. He's going for the Dancing Dragon. He wants to take out the Dancing Dragon, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Oh, we can actually use the, the Kong's ability right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Holy, let's go. Lots of damage. Let's freaking go. Still using the Sentinel's ability. Um, thankfully, he didn't do too, too crazy right there. Let's do this. Heal up everyone. Deal damage. Oh, I was hoping to deal more damage to the Archon. That was not the greatest, but still. He's going for the Dancing Dragon. He's just want, he just wants to take out the Dancing Dragon. The Pirate is barely hanging on. Holy. Pirate is barely hanging on, ladies and gentlemen. Um... This is not good. I guess we'll go up these two. I expect the more, of course. Okay, we did a little bit more to the champion, which is nice. He is going to take out the 
pirate, which is obviously not good. Can we get a double handed champion? Yeah, double handed champion will take him out. So, can we actually get the double hit here, please? Let's see. Yes, and that should take out his Yeti. No, the Yeti survives because of the Archon's aura. Golly. All right. Um, him going after the skeleton, that's a very interesting choice because the skeleton can just get revived if he gets taken out. So we'll hit the Yeti here, or sorry, the Sentinel and the Yeti if we push the skeleton towards the Yeti. Let's go. Oh, and the Archon too. Oh, wait a second. The Kong, actually the Kong should survive here. If the Sentinel goes for the Archon. Or the Kong, sorry. Alright. Okay. Little bit of damage. Um, We might actually lose here. Let's do... Let's do this, I guess. Push the Kong towards the Archon. With the Skeleton. Yep, not bad. Um, If the Kong dies right now... No, no, dude. Man, what a good attempt. I'm, I'm very happy that we actually went far, defeated you know, a mummy cleric combo with... I mean, I'm just surprised that we did all that with this hero that relies on heals. And we, you know, facing mummy, which is a huge disadvantage for us. We did pretty well, not going to lie. So I'm just going to claim these rewards right here. Honestly, I'm very happy with the run that we just did, even though we only got four wins. I'm still pretty happy considering the fact that, you know, we didn't use a meta deck and whatnot. But um, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. That was a lot of fun. The Kong, pretty good with the Dancing Dragon. And of course, I had to mostly rely on the Pirate and the Skeleton. But um, regardless, I did pretty well, so to speak. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of, these, of, of this deck. And of course, if you guys have any other recommendations that you want to see, just let me know down in the comments below. And that's only do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for the continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.